Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608. Today I am playing Star Maid, and we are working on templates. I have a hallway, a bunk, a bathroom, an officer's apartment quarters thing that's really gray, but uh, it's up to the occupant to liven it up. This is just a template, and I'd like to start working on something a little different. I want to work on an airlock, so let's see. What am I going to need for now? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Not you. Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. That's four, five. One, two, three, four. That looks too tall for some reason. Oh, watch me place blocks everywhere except the spot I wanted to. Hmm. Looks like I'm double clicking today. I don't know why. Okay. Now, let's see. How am I going to do this? I'd like to use this for for um, airlocks or docking. In general, not just airlocks. And let's go and grab some grease standard. Do I have symmetry mode on? No, I don't. Do I need it on? Ah, I think I do. Alright, and I don't want a wedge, I also don't want a huge. And there we go, that's taking that out. And let's let's wire up our rails. Should tell you what we're not going to nah, we're going to. Rail on right, docker on left. And we're gonna throw a a permission block there. A faction permission block. Okay, and we are also going to throw some activation modules. Activation module, activation module. Okay, and okay, that is. I, I couldn't remember if I had to do that yet, but it's now if anything, I docked anything, this should turn on. If anything docks to the, me, I, it should turn on. Alright. Let's see, we want something like that there. Uh, let's see, where are those pipes? Pipes along that side and that side, and I turned off symmetry mode that I wanted. Let's see. Um, no, I don't want white lights. I want green lights and red lights. Green light and a red light. There we go. Let's see. And I haven't really thought out how I want to do this. So let's grab some gray hole. Actually, I want the this to be dark. And I want those to protrude more. There we go. And half slabs. Half slabs work. Okay. And I would like a door. Preferably a blast door with uh, some glass door. Glass door so I can see what's going on. And something similar over here. Alright, this is going to lead to the, the ship. 
I hope. Uh, let's see. I do something like that. I can do something like that. Should I do something like that? I actually tell you what, let's pull that piping up. Ooh, yeah, that that's gonna reflect the color better than the um than the dark, so we're gonna leave that there. And pull these back. Oh, I like that as a as an airlock. Uh, the door's still kind of square, but what you gonna do? It opens, closes, there's a hole in the floor that you can fall through. I'm on my F1G. Not more. There's not. I actually tell you what, let's throw a decorative fan in here. And it's gonna simulate, um, we're going to say it's used for pulling oxygen in and out, pressurizing and all that garbage, or uh, stuff. <laughs> Alright, now, how are we going to do this? Um, let's see. Because we're going to need to logic this up. So we're going to do it long ways logic, or are we going to do it side? We're going to do sideways logic. So this needs to... I going to sit with the ship. I think this needs to be one out one. Hold on. I'm using my brain. Uh, which is a rare sight, so you might want to bookmark this. Okay. Pull out this door. Oh, oh, don't pull out that. Because I want this, the 5x5 five five to sit flush with the ship. Right? Right? Then I want the grease standard. This is going to be the exterior of the ship. Or the, the actual hull. It'll sit flush, flush, sit flush with the hull. Then we have the... Where is it? There. And I'll probably determine at some point that this is the dumbest thing I've ever built. What moron would have designed this and scrap it all, but right now, that's what we're using. Uh, unset. I need to unset both of those things. And these should be safe because there's going to be hull under them, which is going to be the outside of the ship. It's going to go like that, except it's probably not going to be very standard. Okay. Now, I don't mean the whole block, I mean actual the hull of the ship. Which for me is typically standard armor. Uh, let's see, what am I looking for? I'm looking for um, connectory bits, docks, there you go. And rail on right, docker on left, everything pointing to the middle. Now we're going to need our doors again. Doors and doors. I want that inset by one. Uh, that's mostly because if I have it set out like here, and the USD of the other guy has it set here, uh, it's a booger bear to get the right door open and closed manually. These aren't meant probably probably aren't meant to be set open and closed manually, but uh, you know. All right. So now, how am I going to do this? What do I want it to do, first of all? I want it, um, hmm. Let's see, let's throw up some logic and let's get some logic stuff going. Uh, what are you? You're an ore, aren't you? I want you, or you, so if one of these is lit up, or both of them are lit up, that one's lit up. Okay, and all that logic is visible through the floor. Don't want that. Visible through the floor. 
invisible through the floor. Very good. Yes, I know you can turn off logic lines, but I like leaving them on. Because I, th I like the extra challenge of rewiring the logic so you can't see it. Two, three, four, five. Except I can't do that, because that's going to be whole one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Okay. And this is going to be the housing for all my logic has to fit in here. And we're going to go ahead and throw up, but well, that is gray standard armor. Throw up some of this. All right. And I think this is just a template. Whenever I place it, it'll be all, well, it won't be all pretty, but it'll be better looking, I hope. Okay. All right. So we have the, the dock here. Actually, let's hop out. Oh, it's just right here. And let's build a, a tiny ship. Let's see, I want it like that, and I want a rail docker, and I want a thruster, so I can move the rotten thing. That didn't place. Okay, so I have a power block. I have some thrust. And rail on right. Dock on left, looking to the middle. There we go. Wire that up. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. A little more zip than I'm used to. And he's going to dock there. Make it out. That should be on. The ore should be on. Very good. Okay. Um, actually, this might be a control panel. Uh, let's see. I want to build block closer to this. So you can see what's going on. Build block closer to this. Okay. Let's see. Ore. I want a button here. The button. Do I want? What do I want? I want it so when something docks, this is going to trigger a another button, and it's going to open. I don't know. Hold on. How do I want this to work? I'm building the thing without thinking about it. When I dock, I want to be able this door to open. So that hmm. Or I guess I could just leave it manual. That'd work. Yeah, yeah. Uh could I do something like this. Um, and where are you? Like that. So you actually have to hit a button to open. Alright, I like that better. I still want the wiring here to let me know that the dock is in use. In fact, we will probably throw a light or something. Um, like a green light. We're going to inset the green light. And that's going to control it. So if something's a dock, this green light goes on. If it's not, it doesn't go on. And it goes off. Or it stays off. You know what I mean. So if I do like that, it stays off. Okay. So where is this, this button? Because it needs to be properly uh, moduled. I'm going to say faction module. I don't want just anybody wandering in here. And that's all right that the faction module is vis visible. And we're going to do a faction module there. So that hits that door as well. So if you really need to, a faction member can open the store manual. Okay. So 
I want these two actually um, on a yellow light. I will explain why next time because we're out of it. Alright, I've been JW608. This has been StarMade. I'll take you cats later.